do you own this Pidgey card? And if you do, do you know how much it's worth? I bet you don't. Because in the past three months, this card has gone up 112%. Three months ago, this card could have been bought for $3.96 and sold for $8.41. Now, keep in mind, I mean, some of the, there is, the most recent sale is below that price at $6.51, but we also have a $10.99, $9.80, and $8. So they're kind of in that ballpark. 112% gain, while dollar amount is not massive, you know, from three to eight, you can make five bucks. Percentage-wise, that's crazy. Uh, so in today's video, 60% uh, also in the past month alone. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the hottest, the biggest moving cards, percentage-wise. Some of them are promos. Some of them are just uh, IRs like this. Uh, but if you are a Pokemon collector or investor, I think it is important for you guys to stay up to date on what cards are moving because, um, you know, like for example, I'm not, you guys can do whatever you want, but if you had this card or a few copies, maybe, um, you might want to sell them while they're hot. Uh, it just depends. Just, and then a lot of the time cards run up, you could sell them and then rebuy. Um, just making you guys aware of cards that are moving. Next up, also from Obsidian Flames, the Pidgeot, uh, 32%. In the past month, uh, you could have had this as low as like 11, uh, 10 bucks. And it's up to 14%. Even on the three month chart, you're seeing 25% gains almost. And 36% over the past year. So, you know, Obsidian Flames kind of, you know, lesser people don't like it as much, right? But uh, some cards, maybe dig out your binder, dig out your collection, maybe check if you have them. Just saying. Uh, then there's the Pidgeotto. You go, okay, well, what about the Pidgeotto? Pidgeotto, not as much right now. Uh, I mean, still good gains right now. 8% in the past month. Only 5% in the past three months. 20% almost uh, over the past year. So Pidgeotto, not doing as much as Pidgey and Pidgeot. But uh, these cards are kind of a set, too. So, you know, there might be uh, something you guys could do with that if you have these cards. Uh, next up, we have the... Dusknor. Now, this is from Shrouded Fable. Now, this is a little wild, too. Um, I'm assuming, once again, I'm still uh, easing into playing the TCG, but I'm assuming this is a playability? Is this a playability thing? Because of the... I don't know. Um, I'm just... I'm assuming. 76% in the past month alone. And 59% in the past three months, and that's going off of like the pre-release prices when they come up, they were high and they came all the way down. Could have got this card for as low as $14. And that, those are some pretty good gains. Uh, we'll check the last solds. Um, this is Japanese. 25, 26, as high as $32 uh, for the Dusknor illustration rare. So yeah, that's 76%, man. Anytime you can get that on anything. so. Maybe you pulled or bought this card. You might want to sell it for around 30 bucks. Just letting you guys know. Um, sometimes, though, too, you know, cards are crazy. You can never know. Like Some of these could continue to run. I'm just like letting you guys know what's going on. You guys make your own decisions, but these are some crazy cards. Like the Deerling here. This is from Temporal Forces. Stunning looking card, by the way. I really like the artwork. The colors pop, right? 59% in the past three months and 36% in the last month alone. Just crazy. This is, this is a cool IR. Um, it's actually down in the past year because pre-release, right? It was at 769. Looks like the low, you could have got this for as low as $3 and 66 cents. Um, last solds are a little bit all over the place. We're seeing $5, $10, $5, $10. $10 so um, this might be one that's probably going to come back down maybe. Um, so Keep that in mind. Just, yeah. We'll, we'll keep an eye on these, right? Then we have the... This is the Charmander. We've talked about this just not that long ago, but it's continued to run, so I want to touch on that. This is the Pokemon Center exclusive. Uh, the stamped. This is a horrible picture. I don't know why it's a bad picture on TCG, but Pokemon Center stamp here. We talked about this card on the 20th. So it was still huge gains. It was at $57, and now it's up to 66 so, 
and the prices look like they might be coming down a little so this looks like this bubble might be popping just a little because last sold were like 57 57 58 58 58 but before that you had 80 you had 100 so if you had 100 and then the 80 so looks like yeah this this card might be on the decline possibly we'll see we'll see what happens uh once again another important card to take a look at then we have some more promos here some evolutions this is the jolteon uh, v max 25 percent gain in the past month alone it was around 30 bucks and now it's up to 40. so pretty good gains there even on the three month chart we're seeing almost 16 percent gains one year 103 percent could have had this for sub 20 uh it's high one year high is 47 dollars, and it's around 40 right now um but check this out last solds 49 44 44 so expect this to continue to climb looks like this is going to be going up even more so uh this this percentage gain will be bigger so yeah the amazing card by the way um yeah absolutely stunning beautiful card cannot go wrong um so then i was like oh let me see what other uh any of these other cards are popping off well we have the vaporeon v 22 percent in the past three months and just a solid seven percent in the past month uh if we take the big old zoom out to the one year 61 percent could have had this as low as 17 when as high as 43 and now it's around 30 um last solds are about around 30 so 29 31 29 so that seems to be about accurate for this vaporeon then we have the v max which is another stunning card uh all the pokemon in the background super cool card uh 10 percent up the past three months and about five percent in the past month uh not as good gains over the past year 34 percent. i mean that's nothing to sneeze at 34 percent is good but uh, comparatively to the other cards could have this as low as looks like 27 yeah when as high as 48 now it's around 40 and it's climbing climbing a little bit right now so that is interesting um last sold's around 44 so once again uh, this would be kind of like the jolteon expect this price to come up um in the near future here um not all the cards are doing all the same thing we got the flareon here uh in the last month it looks really good, right? Uh, almost 14%, but in the last three months, it's actually down 8%. So it, it's climbing off of this $26 mark. So yeah, you know, they're not all doing the same thing, but maybe the Flareon's due for another climb. Um, could have had this for 16 bucks at its lowest. Sold for 53 at its high and around 28. Uh, but last sold show 32, 32, 32, 1, 26, and 31. So I would expect the uh, market price on this card to go up in the next few days as well, potentially. We have uh, the other Jolteon, the V here, 17%, right? So it's it's kind of similar over all of them. 17% uh, in the past month alone, but down in the last three months. So it dipped right here and it's climbing again. Um, if we zoom out to the one year, 68% overall, which is really good. Uh, $14 was its low point. It went as high as 40 and now it's around 25 last solds um a little higher than that 26 29 29 so uh this is another one looks like could be seeing a little bit more of a climb then we have the flareon v max uh this card not really as moving as much um four and a half percent in the past month down 12 percent over the past three months and crazy crazy gains though 73 percent in the past month could have got this card for 13 could have sold it if you bought it at the low sold it at the high could have sold it for 38 and now it's around 25. Uh, most recent sales 26 25 so that seems about accurate um, for these cards now i just wanted to give just touch a little bit on um I like to touch on just cards that are moving it gets you guys thinking it gets me thinking right uh what's hot why is it hot right sometimes it's playability sometimes it's a buyout um sometimes it's just just the cyclical aspect of the market um but yeah that this um i do want to note that this video i'm recording this a few days before 
uh, because I'm going to be doing some more traveling. Uh, just got back from Japan, and I am extremely jet lagged. I don't want to sleep yet. I just got home. I got to stay up a few more hours. So I'm making some videos because I'm going to be gone. So you'll be seeing this a few days after. So if the price charts have shifted a little bit, uh, I do apologize. But that's kind of kind of all I can do. Um, yeah, I just wanted just a little market update for you guys. Like these cards, I like I like to see cards moving. I like to see big gains. It's fun. Um, and if you guys like, you know, if you had the Pidgey or or the Pidgeot maybe um, from Obsidian and you just like had it in a box or a binder and maybe you're wanting to move it now you guys know so um not everyone can look at every single card so i try and do my best um usually do cards that are moving up i don't usually do cards that are crashing i can do that if you guys want let me know uh what you guys are interested in but i'm rambling i'll get more i'm gonna get some japan content out it might be it's, it might be next week though just because i gotta travel and i gotta do editing and then like i did I did like make a video while I was in Japan from one of the days, but I didn't like the way it turned out because I was editing on the laptop and yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know, you guys know how it is. But um, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, I do try and do, I mean, for a long time I was doing daily um, videos. I just kind of lapsed because I was in Japan, but uh, I'm going to be picking that up. So if you guys uh, want daily content, like market updates, what cards are hot, uh, what boxes are hot, what I'm buying, um, probably I'm holding off for a minute personally because i just spent a lot of money uh, going to japan so um i gotta cool off for a bit but we'll see see where things um end up but that is gonna do it for this one guys i will catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase